country is government. They don't make anything. They don't grow anything. How can we continue to survive and government? These jackasses, I mean, being in government means never having to say you're sorry. You understand? Unless you really get caught and you wind up jailed. And then they say, oh, you've made such great contributions over the years. We're just slapping them on the wrist. They do in some instances. But the point I'm making, these guys are out of there. It would be, I would wish they were out of their minds. The truth is they're killing this country. And it's very difficult to imagine that there's anybody in Washington who doesn't understand that. Every one of these bitches and bastards who sit there in the Congress and the Senate, they understand they are destroying this nation. And they're doing it with more and more taxes. What the hell are they thinking about? You know, the Bible, the good Lord is willing to settle for 10%. He wants a tithe. we got a government that's taking six tithes right now, and they're looking for eight. You know, it's one of those things that just drives me around the bend to some degree, I guess. So uh, I don't suppose it's a long trip, but it does get at me. What else have we got here? Let's see. This is, well, I'll save that for a little while. Here's one. Lautenberg, Lautenberg bill to ban one million people from gun sales. Gun hater Lautenberg proposes extraordinary powers be given to the U.S. Attorney General to limit gun sales. Obama and the White House are looking the other way as Lautenberg seeks to ban guns from one million U.S. citizens on a secret FBI terrorist watch list. Obama has deliberately, deliberately and repeatedly lied to, the Amer to America's 90 million gun owners across the country when he insisted that he would not try to take away anyone's firearms. Now Obama's silence endorses Al Lautenberg's latest attempt at banning guns. Uh... Hang on just a second. Lautenberg has introduced Senate Bill 1317 that would give the Attorney General the discretion to block gun sales to people on terror watch lists. We must defeat this bill from giving extraordinary powers to limit gun sales to the Attorney General. Well, this is presented by uh, Common Sense Gun Lobby, Citizens Committee for the Right to Keep and Bear Arms. You know, this is just another one of these things. You know why the government wants to take your guns away? They're going to take away... In theory, they want the power to take away anyone identified on a secret, a secret terror watch list. I can look out the window. You understand? I can look at the guy across the street and say, you know, I think he looks a little suspicious. I think we better watch him. Let me put his name on the list here. We're talking about banning. Of, right now they're talking about a million people. I don't know what the number would be. Based on mere suspicion, a terror watch list. Based on mere suspicion, we're going to deprive people of the right to keep and bear arms. How do you suppose you get on the list? You think anyone would be surprised if a radio talk show host like myself was on the list? How many of us would be surprised if they found out that people who listen to this program are on the list? How about the people who just know people that are listening to programs like this? These people in government have lost their freaking minds, or maybe they haven't. You know, I wish they'd lost their minds. Truth of the matter is, again, they're probably, they, they, I'm sure they're doing all of this intentionally. And why do they want to restrict our right to keep and bear arms? It's the same way why, it's the same reason why a man who has been convicted of murder would want to make sure that the hangman doesn't have any rope. That's why. These guys know what they've been doing. They know how they have been destroying this nation. They know that they are engaged in treason. And they understand that thanks to the Internet, sooner or later the great unwashed are going to figure this out. And they're scared to death that the public is going to start shooting the congressmen, the senators, and the presidents. And as a matter of self-preservation, these gangsters and thugs that occupy the White House and the Cat House are saying, we've got to protect ourselves. We've got to disarm these people so they can't shoot us. Why would they want to shoot you? Because you're a treasonous whore. Yeah, yeah, we're treasonous whores, but we don't want to get shot just because we're destroying the country. <sighs> That's what this is all about. They want to disarm the victims because they're scared to death that some of you people are going to start shooting them. Yeah. And there's other people in this country who are scared to death that you're not going to start shooting them. What else have we got here? Uh, that's not something I want to talk about. I'm looking at my email. Here's, well, this is a... Uh, this is a, uh, a picture 
It says it's a new yard sign beats the heck out of those worthless Brink Security or ADT alarm signs. This is a sign outside someone's house, metal sign. It says on it nothing. It has a it has a, the picture of one of those targets, a man's silhouette with concentric rings around the chest to uh, you know show where you where you aim and where you hit. If you've been to a gun range, rifle range, you've seen these. Then here's one in metal that has six shots essentially on dead center, center mass on the silhouette. And the sign says, nothing inside is worth dying for. Well, it at least amuses me. It's one of those things where, in theory, you're telling the, uh, you're telling the, the, the would-be robber, hey, you come in here, we can shoot this thing, baby. And we're going to put six in you, and it isn't, and there's nothing you're going to get out of here worth taking a chance on dying for. Uh, this is the one that got me off on. Let me see if I've got anything else. Yeah, let me do two other things before I do this. Got one here from the Federal Reserve. I've probably talked about this before, but I am looking at a website page from the Federal Reserve, the Federal Reserve Board. It's at www.federalreserve.gov slash releases slash bulletin slash 0308 assets dot htm. I'll read that again when we get done with this thing. You want to get a pen and paper if you want to try to catch this. U.S. Reserve assets. Gold stock. And they are listing from 2005 on up through February of 2008. And the number is uh, the number is 11 1,043, and this is millions of dollars at the end of a pay period. Um, gold stock, 11,000, and this is a million, so let me think. We've got millions. Uh, this would be 11 billion is what they claim to have. I love they, the, the number is truncated. All right, this is in millions, so it's 11,043 million, 11,041 million, 41, 41, 41, all the way through from 2006 until... February of 2008, we have 11,041 uh, millions of dollars in gold stock. And they've got a footnote here. And it says, gold held under earmark at Federal Reserve Banks for foreign and international accounts is not included in the gold stock of the United States. Uh, see table 3.13, line 3. Gold stock is valued at $42.22 per fine troy ounce. Now, that's interesting. We've got $11 billion worth of gold, and they have held it at exactly, apparently, at the, at the price they have, given the number of ounces they have. Uh, you take the number of ounces, you multiply it times $42.22, and you wind up with $11 uh, billion Forty-one million dollars worth of gold from 2006 all the way through February of 2008. I don't have more current figures at this time, and it hasn't changed from this indication because the number is the same all the way through. They haven't added an ounce. They haven't subtracted an ounce. It's been exactly the same the whole time, but it's been calculated on the basis of forty-two dollars per ounce for per troy ounce of gold. Now, I don't recall the prices of gold right off the top of my head, but I know that it's been increasing dramatically since 2005. If I had to guess, and I'm only guessing, I'd say back in 2005, the price of gold might have been down in the neighborhood of $250, $300 an ounce. It, I don't believe it was more than $400 an ounce. And today it's 950 They have not shown that the price of the value of their gold the, the, the quantity has apparently remained unchanged, but they do not reflect an increase in price to reflect market value. Instead, they are still calculating the value of their gold at $42.22 per ounce. Now, that is when gold today is trading at $950 an ounce. Gold is roughly 20 times more valuable today, or the price is at least 20 times higher than the price they are using. And I'm not sure what the reason is for this, but it is pretty strange. It indicates when they calculate that they have a basically $11 billion, $41 million worth of gold, truth is they have 20 times that much. 
All right, that's what their report is. They report that's the value of the gold in dollars, but they're calculating on the basis of $42.20 per ounce. Well, they, again, uh, instead of having $11 billion, they have in the neighborhood of $220 billion. I don't know that that, I, and it doesn't impress me one way or another whether they have $5 billion or, you know, $5 quadrillion. I don't know. It doesn't, that in itself doesn't impress me, but why do they continue to calculate the value of their gold at $42.22 per ounce? That really, that there's something there, and I don't know what it is, but there is something in that that I think would re reveal a great deal of insight if someone took the trouble to figure it out, and perhaps one of these days I'll get around to it, and maybe one of you will get around to it. I don't know.